Going good. How you doing? Pat, how are you, mate? Good right, mate. Nice to see you. Good, mate. Nice to see you. Hello, mate. All right. It's you? Yeah, good. Going well. Good. Yeah. Good to see you, mate. Trying to keep that way, mate. I can remember Basher playing, I used to watch him and just, just admire the way he played. He was always so well built for his age. I remember when I was only 10, 11 and 12, um, you know, Bash was always a big, you know, brood playing under 14s. Same beard. Same beard, <laughs> yeah, he was just very developed. But I didn't play too many games with you, I don't think. I, I think that we played maybe one, I played one. as a top up maybe one year. And okay. I was 12 or 14 or something, but I was uh, probably, was, probably yeah, about when you maybe kicked 16 or 17, something didn't like that. Didn't remember you? Okay, you didn't remember me. You, <laughs> oh, you didn't know who I was, mate. <laughs> now you don't know but, who I am. It's <laughs> the <laughs> highest <laughs> level. <laughs> At the uh, best and fairest night, I, I still remember when Bash came over and said, "Well, right, I'm mate." I think it was the first time we'd actually probably spoken, and I thought, "This is a guy I've been looking up to for so long." And he, he's, he's approached me and said, "Well done." So I was very chuffed at the time. When he was 12, he played with my uh, younger brother, so I used to obviously watch watch him play. And then there was all this young kid just tearing this this ground apart, hard in and under. I reckon I remember once you kicked the ball and you ran and you ran. And you actually marked your own footy. I don't know if you remember. That is, that it's a lot, a lot of lot of moments. <laughs> Did I make that up? <laughs> that. No, I reckon I remember. I reckon you just don't remember. No, uh, but it just obviously just uh, racked. Used, used to rack him up, and I thought to myself, one day this guy can be something special, something big. I'm Paddy Hines. I've been uh, involved at Spotty since I was a uh, ten-year-old back in the seventies. He's just the ultimate clubman. He's a he's a guy that every local footy club needs. I was actually best mates with his son as well, so and still am now. He's moved up to Sydney with me. So how's my son um, doing? Living with you up in Sydney? He's doing okay. I think yeah. he's improving with the dishes and, and the cleaning. There was one game I remember. I took a specky on your son, Jimmo, actually. <laughs> I don't know why I was playing against him. I think it was under 10 or something, but I remember taking a spec here. So I reckon I used to take a few marks back in the day. We'd all sit back with the parents would say, mate, how amazing is this guy? He gave up as a 14-year-old and had a year at ballet. Um, I think that's where he got all his elusive skills from. But he's just the type of guy that everybody loves. Everyone loves you know, sharing stories with him and, and, and hearing his stories. Um, he's just the guy that everyone loves, really. I don't know, I don't know about you, Cal, but... I used to get really scared of Paddy when I was young. Yeah, when we were young, we did, oh, yeah. Was, he would always yeah, have a really see. serious look on his face and he was always yelling. And obviously being the club man he is, you know, trying to run the club nice and smoothly. But I used to get really scared of him. Yeah, because we all just listened to him. We were intimidated <laughs> by him because he was such a big club man that we all just listened to him. So that's what it was. Different. How, how small is it? It feels small. So different to what uh, we're used to, but uh, what the grass is not it? synthetic. That's, that's new, isn't it? It used to be just concrete, I reckon. Definitely not uh, available in our days. I reckon they're new, they're new seats as well. They look old, but they're, they're newer than what we have. I've still got your chin-up bars. This is the bash of all your chin-up bars <laughs> every night. I grew up in Spotswood, so I started here doing Oz Kick and started playing competitively under 10. So yeah. the whole way through, I played a spotty under 10s to under 18s, really. Yep. Very good. And Bash? Yeah, uh, I started uh, under 12, so obviously my story is different, you, you'd know. Um, kind of uh, sneaked my way through to the club. Uh, yeah. you know, obviously, uh, uh, that was something different. We spoke to the coach and we told him that my parents don't know, and we're, we're going to find it a little bit hard to get the training in. He goes, oh, stop. I'll take him to training, I'll pick him up, I'll take him to Maccas, whatever you want. Did you tell them or did they find no, out? No, they found out. We had the best and fairest night that year and uh, I won a couple of trophies. I popped them underneath my top and tried to sneak in for the back door and they were there and they, they caught me. But thankfully my brother who uh, got me involved, local footy, was there and he just, he just spoke to him and said, you know, you've got to let him play. And then Hooley with that lovely, lovely kick to the best goal of the night. I used to love kicking goals. And I was this big at the age of 12, so obviously much bigger than everyone else. So, yeah, I used to love kicking goals, especially playing in the ruck. Yeah. Rove my own ball, <laughs> run to centre half forward. That's how good top. <laughs> no. did, you, did you kick 22 goals one game? Yeah, I kicked 20 goals, 10, and then the following one, the following week, 19-7. So I remember that year was uh, under 14. Played uh, majority on ball, but there was one game I played in the last quarter, I played at full forward. I had 10 to 3 quarter time and then I'd kick another 10 in the last quarter. I was against uh, Western Magpies, Leverton, so um, they, went, they went crash hot. But um, <laughs> yeah, it was good to get a kick 100 goals in the season. I got drafted in 06. It was obviously a very anxious moment. Uh, I got to pick 42 and 
I picked up by S and that moment was just, uh, it erupted because I had all my, my whole family there. And that was a very, very special moment. So something that I'll, uh, I'll hold on for the rest of my life. He just dominated. To watch, come down and watch him. Some of those games where he kicked tens and twenties of goals, just amazing, you know. And everyone fed off him. Everyone loved playing with him. Hey there. What the, man? the following that he's got, he's able, been able to teach the younger crew some good disciplines and things like that, which is fantastic. I was always that type of person that would avoid the middle of the ground because it was very muddy, as you would see. When it was dry. Fantastic, kick the ball from 50, 60. I used to thrive on that. All my mates just used to love playing in the mud. We used to slide around, especially younger days when we were nine or 10, we used to slide around in the mud and try and get as dirty as we could.